Hi everybody. Wait a minute. I've got a some kind of squeaking going on here. Let's see that. Oh, that's better. Okay, sorry about that. Hi everyone. Welcome to HUM 420 Contemporary Ethics. Um, this course is required of all majors or professional students in this attempt to focus your attention on the ethical demands that you'll encounter throughout your professional as well as personal lives. The course is a seven week course because of the Thanksgiving holiday and so I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It is intensely demanding of your time and focus. If you don't have four to six hours a week to dedicate to completing the course, you may want to reconsider taking it until you have sufficient time in your schedule. The readings, some of them deeply philosophical in nature, can be dense and slow going. The weekly discussion questions ask you to consider the main or key points of these ethical theories and then relate your understanding to contemporary issues or examples from research you do outside of the course and textbook. I ask you to include these sources or popular uh, sources as or academic sources as links embedded in your discussions. As a result, you'll need to make sure that you use the browser version of the Canvas app because then you'll have the toolbar necessary to add some of the new media features like embedding YouTube or TED Talk videos or image files you can upload. One small warning regarding image files. The Canvas application is based upon wiki technology which only recognizes unique file names. So please don't upload image files that are titled image.jpg for a picture of Aristotle, for example. There are about a billion other image files of anything you can imagine that are also called image.jpg. And then that image will be superseded on the wiki or on Canvas by anyone else adding another image.jpg file. So always entitle your image with a unique name. Probably won't be a problem, but I've seen it before. The main goal of this course is to focus on a specific research topic that involves an ethical dilemma that one might find or experience in a particular professional situation. Let's say you're an administrator of a hospital or a nursing home business, and in the process of funding next year's budget, you have to consider whether or not to increase or reduce budget for emergency preparedness. Then a hurricane comes along and endangers the life of your personnel and the clients or patients that are being treated or housed there. What are your ethical obligations? What guidelines would or should you follow? Is there an ethical code of practices that might offer some guidance? So from day one, you should review the readings in Module 1 and 2, Sacred Journeys and Professional Codes of Ethics, where you will find guides to sites that discuss different ethical decision-making processes and ethical frameworks, as well as a site that contains a list of the codes of conduct of many associations that will be related to your degree or major. Think of the industry that you're interested in pursuing or are already involved with in your own careers. Second. The topic proposal for this research project is due the third week of class, so you've really got to get up to speed very quickly. The annotated bibliography, the sources that you've already identified in this topic proposal uh, that you've already discovered and any new ones that you've accumulated since then doing the research are required by the fifth week of class and the final paper, a 15 to 20 page paper, is due by the final day of class at the end of seven weeks. So it's a lot to accomplish. Third, while you're busy getting this research project together, every week we have a discussion requirement that constitutes 40% of your grade. These discussions relate to readings in the iBook that you'll buy online using the instructions from required texts in the Start Here module of the course. Here's my suggestion on the discussions. Do them as quickly as possible. They are all up online and available. So if you can get ahead on these, then your life will be a little easier. And the topics of these discussions will almost certainly influence your own argument in your research paper and provide evidence or support for your own perspective on how any particular ethical problem should be handled. You will find classical virtue ethic texts like Aristotle or the sacred text modules, as well as the utilitarian utilitarian arguments of Mills for ethical theory and feminist and cultural theories with uh, Benedict and Noddings uh, available in these uh, readings. Any or all of these will be helpful in making your final paper more substantive and convincing by using these sources also. But remember, your paper is not a theoretical exercise where you debate an ethical theorist, but a practical exercise in a real-world problem using existing standards or codes 
to describe the situation and the likely approaches to resolving the issue. It's your ability to see and understand these codes through the lens of the underlying ethical theories that guide the language of the composition of these codes that will make your argument strong and convincing. So, I am with you on this journey. I'll try to comment like crazy on the first three or four discussion boards and gradually as everyone gets the hang of what is expected then I'll slacken up. Um, I'll give you likes. If you get a like on your discussion board that means you can count on at least a 92 on your uh, discussion board grade uh, for that week. And gradually as everyone gets the hang of what is expected then I'll sort of ease up on some of my comments. The rubric for the discussion boards is included with every assignment so you'll be able to see a uniform description of my expectations there. But there are basically four categories. The first one is a complete response to the writing prompt. Answer all the questions. Two, use outside research in the form of a link or a video that offers evidence or an example of the connection you're making to some ethical theory to a real world example. Third, a personal connection that you draw, something that you found interesting or discovered, a relationship between earlier readings and the example that you are, are citing or linking to, or a connection that you make by reading one of your colleagues, classmates' works and discussions, or and you remembered a situation where you personally had to observe or experience a situation that involved an ethical dilemma that also was pertinent or relative to this uh, um, particular theory or reading that we were doing in the discussion. Finally, four, grammar and mechanics. Uh, write as clearly and as beautifully as possible. Okay? See what I mean? I know it's a lot, but I also know that it can be done. I've taught this course, I helped develop it, and I've had the experience of submitting several former student papers to the research symposium as exemplars of student writing at Lynn University. And I can promise you that you have my full and unconditional support in succeeding. Alright, so you ready? Let's get to work.